Good morning. Great, how wonderful. Another day, it's day six. How exciting. Today we're going to be doing um, some leg stuff. How to strengthen your legs. I'm just spotting all my geese there behind me. If you can see them. Oh, where's my finger? Mm, there, there's my geese over there. So they may start shouting and banging on the window. Um, so great, um, come join us. Come onto your mat, okay? So just start by bringing your hands to your hips and roll out through your hips. And so as you roll out into your hips, really feel the full circumference of possibility into your hips. And then roll in the other direction. Nice. Bring your elbows to your knees and then sit down as deep as you can. And then standing up, reach your arms wide, bring your palms together. Bend your elbows, bring your elbows to your knees. Your feet are maybe hip distance apart or a little bit wider. And then standing up, reach up towards the ceiling, looking up. Nice, one more time. Elbows to your knees, sit as deep as you can, keeping your feet flat on the floor. And then stretch through your legs and reaching up. Nice, bring your hands down, bring your feet a little bit wider. So they're maybe a good two foot wide, two and a half foot wide. And then bring your elbows to your knees, sit your bum down as deep as it goes. And then standing up, reach your arms wide and reach up towards the ceiling. And coming down, bring your elbows to your knees. And as you rise up, squeeze your bum a little bit so you're pushing your hips a little bit forward. Nice, one more time. Elbows to your knees. And then rising up, squeezing through your bum, rising up. And just feel that really deep sense of pushing your hips a little bit forward. Legs are strong. Nice, lower your arms down. Bring your feet towards each other and just roll out through your shoulders. Big circles with your shoulders. Nice, and then roll in the other direction. Nice, cool. Come stand to the front of your mat. So your feet are mm, kind of close, not too close, not too far apart. And then reach your arms wide and bring your palms together. And then bend your elbows, bend your knees, come all the way down. Bring your hands either side of your feet and sit your bum down as deep as you can, keeping your feet flat on the floor. We're just really rounding down, really scooching down. And then straighten through your legs, bring your hands to your shins. Draw your forehead towards your knees. Hands to the floor, stretch your right leg long behind you. Step it back into a lunge. And from here, just drop your back knee to the floor and straighten your back leg. And drop your back knee to the floor. Straighten your back leg. One more time. Drop your knee to the floor. Straighten your back leg. Really lean into that back leg. Stretch down into your heel. Feel the front of your thigh lengthening. Now step back with the left foot. Knees to the floor. Lower all the way down. Fingers wide on your mat. Slowly rising up. Keep your chin tucked in. Lowering down, hands to the floor, push back into your cat, all the way back into your downward dog. Nice. Stretch the right foot up towards the ceiling and then bending your right knee, draw your right knee towards your right elbow. Stretch your right leg up towards the ceiling. Bend your right knee, draw your right knee to your right elbow. Stretch your leg up towards the ceiling. Nice. One more time. Bend your right knee, elbow to your knee, no knee to your elbow. Stretch your leg up and then step your right leg all the way forward between your hands. Nice. Bring your right hand, uh, both hands to your front knee and then drop the left knee down. Let it touch. Straighten out through the back leg. Drop the left knee down. Let it touch. Straighten out through the back leg. Drop the left knee down. Let it touch. Straighten out through the back leg and just really lean into the front of that left leg. Deepen a little bit lower. And really straighten into the back of the knee, draw the heel away, lengthen up through the top of your head. Nice, both hands to the floor, step forward. Hands to the floor, bend your knees as much as you can. And then slowly rising up, reach your arms wide, palms come together. Bending your elbows, bend your knees all the way down, hands to the floor, bend your knees as much as you can. Nice, hands to your shins, round your back, draw your forehead down. Hands to the floor, stretch your left leg long, step it back into a lunge. And then drop your back knee to the floor. 
stretch your back leg drop your back knee to the floor every time you stretch your leg try and lean a little bit more into it bend your back knee stretch your back leg and one last time bend your back knee and stretch your back leg and just pause there really dropping weight down into that left hip bending your front knee more finding length from the top of your head into your heel Step your right foot back and drop your knees to the floor. Lower your belly all the way down. Fingers wide on your mat, keeping your chin tucked in, rising up. Lowering down, hands to the floor. Push back into a cat. All the way back into your downward dog. Now stretch your left foot up towards the ceiling. Bend your left knee, elbow to your knee. No, knee, knee to your elbow. Stretch your leg long, up towards the ceiling. And then bring your knee to your elbow. Nice. One more time. Stretching up and knee to your elbow. Great. Step your foot forward. From here, bring both hands to your front knee. Hold solid. Lift the chest. And then drop your back knee to the floor. Straighten out through the back leg. Every time, find a little bit more length in the back leg. Drop your knee. Stretch it out. Drop your knee. Stretch it out. One more time. And drop your knee, stretch it out, and then lean a little bit deeper into it. Find the length of your chest, the rise up through the top of your head. Nice. Both hands to the floor. Step forward. Hands both sides of your feet. Bend your knees as much as you can, and then slowly rolling up. Reach your arms wide. Bring your palms together in front of your chest. Cool. Next. Drop your arms down, reach your arms up. This time, bend your knees like you're going to be sitting down onto a chair. So you're reaching your fingers up towards the ceiling. You're sitting your bum down. So you just feel your legs are working, your bum, your spine, your feet. Stretch through your legs and then do it again. Except this time, bring your palms together and twist towards the left with your chest and bring your right elbow down to the left knee. So you're twisting in your chair. Nice. Bring both hands to that left knee and then step your right foot back. So stretching the right leg back and then step it back into your lunge. Nice. Bring your forearm, right forearm to the left thigh and then just stretch out through the left, right side. So turn and look over your left shoulder and sink into your hips. Really deepen your bending knee, lengthen through the chest. Open through the back leg, sink a bit deeper into your hips. Nice, both hands to the floor, step back, plank, drop your knees to the floor, and lower your belly all the way down. And this time bring your head to rest on the back of your hands. And then stretching your right leg up and back behind you, lift your right leg off the floor, and then lift your left leg off the floor. So as you lift each leg, you really feel like you're opening from your knee, Oh, from your thigh <laughs> and you're lengthening through the whole of your belly to let your leg lift and lift and lift nice and lift feeling your bum engage the lower back lift and lift nice both hands to the floor a little bit wider than your mat tuck your chin in rolling up nice rolling down hands to the floor push back all the way back into your downward dog. Find your length, pull back into your heels. Stretch the right foot up towards the ceiling. Step the right foot forward. Nice, pausing there in your lunge for a moment, sinking into it. Nice, step back into your downward dog. This time, bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Sink into it. Step back into your downward dog. Now step your right foot forward between your hands. Step the left foot forward. Sit your bum down deeply. Reach your arms wide. And rising up, staying in a chair as you reach your fingers up. And maybe look up. Nice. Rising tall. Lower your arms down. Nice. Next. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Palms come together or they're parallel. Sit your bum deeply down. 
finding the length of your spine, opening your chest. Draw your thumbs backwards a little bit more. Nice, lower all the way down. Oh no, don't. <laughs> uh, rising all the way up, sorry about that. And then bending your elbows, bringing your palms together, twist towards the right, bringing your left elbow down to the outside of your right knee. Sit down a little bit deeper, widen the chest. Cool, turn towards your knees, bring your two hands to the right knee, stretch the left leg long behind you, and then step it all the way back into a lunge. Great, bring both hands to the floor, and just really settle in there, really deepen into that back leg, really lengthen it out. Nice, bring your left forearm to your right thigh, bring your right hand to your right hip, begin to turn and look over your shoulder and lean into the left side as much as you can. Opening your chest, stretching into the back leg. Nice, both hands to the floor. Step back into your down, uh, plank pose, drop your knees to the floor, lower all the way down. This time stretch both arms long above your head as well. So when you lift the right leg, lift the left arm. And then when you lift the left arm, lift the right leg. So lifting the opposite, lifting, lifting, lifting. You can lift your head at the same time or not. Lifting, 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 lifting. Nice, just really feeling that sense of the back. Lifting, lifting, cool. Bring both hands back, back into your cat. Just pause for a moment in your cat pose. Bum is back towards your heels, spine is long. Just wiggle a little bit from side to side. Easing into the joints of your knees, your feet, your hips, your lower back, your bum. Nice, come forward into your cat, all the way back into your downward dog. Stretch the left foot up towards the ceiling. Step left foot forward between your hands. Nice, step back, downward dog. Step the left foot to the outside of your hand. Step back, downward dog. Step your foot forward between your hands. Step forward. Keep your bum low. Begin to lift your chest. Let your arms rise beside you. Palms come together, looking up perhaps. And stretch through your legs and drop your arms down. How cool, super guys. So from here, lift the right foot up off the floor and then reach the right leg long behind you and drop the right hand down. You can bring your left hand to your knee as you touch the floor with your right hand. Draw the right knee up, lift the left elbow up. It's like you're running in slow motion. As you reach the right leg long, bring your left hand to your knee, right hand to the floor. And again, lift the right knee up, left elbow up. And then right leg back, right hand down, left hand to your knee. One more time. Rising up, pausing there for a moment. Left elbow is up, right knee is up. Right arm is strong and beside you. These are functional patterns. And then reach your right leg long left hand to your knee and you can either float your right hand off the floor or you can touch the floor nice coming all the way up foot to the floor other side lift the left knee up lift the right elbow stretch the left leg long right hand to your knee left hand to the floor lift the left knee up right elbow stretch your left leg long left hand to the floor lift your left knee up right elbow left leg long fingers to the floor last time left knee up pause there and then Left leg long, your fingers can either float, your right hand is on your knee, or you can bring your fingers to the floor. 
You're stretching long into that back leg. Nice. Rising up, both feet to the floor. How cool. So come face the screen again. We did this yesterday. We're going to include it most days because it's just an amazing thing. So have both hands so they're shoulder width apart. Both feet are shoulder width apart. Your feet are maybe two feet back. Bend your knees into a crouching position and then turn your knees towards the left and sit your right bum down. So my left foot is standing, my right foot's on the side. Come back up, crouching. Turn your knees towards the right. Sit your left bum down. Nice. Come back up. One more time each side. Turn your toe, knees and toes towards the left. Sit your right bum down. Come back up. Turn your knees and toes towards the right. Sit your left bum down. Nice. And come all the way back up. Nice. Come sit on your mat. Legs are long in front of you. And from here, bring your hands either side of your hips. So we're just going to mobilize into our legs. So usually when we go to move our legs, we start doing it with our hands. So today we're going to do it without our hands. So bring your hands to the floor beside you on the floor and really glue them to the floor. And then bend your right knee and touch it as close to your um, bum as you can on the floor. And then stretch your right leg long. Lower it down. Bend your left knee as close to you as you can. Stretch it up and lower it down. So this time we're going to do the opposite. Stretch it up, bend your knee, stretch it up again, lower it down. Stretch it up, bend your knee, stretch it up, and lower it down. So right baby toe drops down towards the floor and then turn your right foot until you're trying to look at the sole of your foot. So draw your foot as close to you as you can. So I'm looking down to try and see the sole of my right foot. Stretch your leg long. Draw the left foot towards you. If it can float in the air, do. If you need to have it on the floor, do. Stretch your leg long. Again, right knee bends. Draw your foot up towards you. Stretch it out. Left knee bends. Draw it up towards you. And out. Last one of these. So lean over towards the left and then bend your right knee. Lift it off the floor. And try and look at your right foot over towards the side. Nice. Stretch your leg out long. Bring your right hand to the floor. Bend your left knee and sweep the left foot towards you. Try to look at it over towards the side. Nice. If you want to make that a little bit harder, interlock your fingers and bend the right knee. Look at your foot and stretch it out and bend the left knee. Look at your foot and stretch it out. Super cool. So from here, sit at the back of your mat. Your feet are as wide as your mat. And then drop both knees down towards the right. So both knees have fallen down. You can bring your right hand to the floor. And then come back up to center. Walk your feet a little bit forward. Drop both knees down to the left. You can bring your left hand to the floor. And then come back up. Walk your feet uh, maybe an inch or two forward. Drop your knees to the right. Maybe no hands this time. Come back up, feet a little bit forward, knees to the left. And coming back up. Even harder, interlock your fingers, have your arms in front of you. Drop your knees to the right. Twist as much as you can. Come back up, walk your feet forward, drop your knees to the left. And come back up, walk your feet forward. Drop over towards the right. Come back up, forward. Knees to the left and forward. One more time. Forward with your feet over towards the right. Forward with your feet and over towards the left. Nice. Coming all the way up. Bring the soles of your feet together. And just sitting up tall, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. And then lower your hands down and reach as far forward as you can with your arms. Nice. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling. And then lower your arms down until your our hands come to the floor. One more time, reaching up towards the ceiling, pausing there long through the front of the body. And drop your arms down and bring your hands to the floor. 
Nice. Slowly rolling back. You can either keep the soles of your feet together as they are, or you can bring your feet flat to the floor as you roll backwards. Nice. So bring the soles of your feet together, your knees apart, and bring your arms wide beside you so they're just resting on the floor. So you're, imagine that your knees are like a book and they've fallen outwards. So we're going to close the book over towards the right. So draw the left knee over towards the right knee. And then open the book. Soles of the feet together, knees wide. And then close the book to the left, drawing the right knee over. Squeeze it over. And then coming back, knees wide. Great. We'll bring it on a little bit further. Draw both knees over to our left knee over towards the right. And then begin to slide the left foot up till it meets the right knee. And then slide the left knee up until it travels up in the direction of the right shoulder. And just pause there in the gliding twist. Nice. Gliding all the way back. Soles your feet together, knees apart. And then draw the right knee over towards the left knee. Slide the right foot up until it comes to the left knee and then glide the right knee up until it comes up towards the right sh left shoulder. And slowly coming all the way back. Both feet to the floor, interlock your hands and reach them straight up toward the ceiling. Push both feet down and roll up along your spine. And then roll slowly down until you land on the floor. Roll up along your spine. And then rolling down until you land on the floor. One last time. Roll up along your spine, really pushing into your heels. Nice, lowering all the way down, either pausing there with your feet just flat on the floor. You can stretch your legs out long or you can bring the soles of your feet together and your knees apart. You can have your hands on your belly and deepen your breath down into your belly. And really position yourself in a place of comfort, of ease. As always, we're going to stop after hmm, around a minute or so but you're very welcome because you're at home you can continue to rest there just for another three or four minutes or five minutes until you feel like everything's really settled in your system and just feeling the breath in your belly the weight of the back of your body on the floor the sense of both of your arms the sense of both of your legs the soles of your feet, your ankles, your knees, your thighs, your hips, your bum, your lower back, the chest, the throat, the face, the hands, the wrists, the forearms, the elbows, the upper arms, the shoulders. Very softening into the face. Nice. So staying there. Continuing to rest or slowly drawing your knees up and stretching out through your arms. And then either rocking over with your knees or pulling your knees up onto your chest. And in your own time, slowly coming up to a seated position. Nice, guys. How lovely. Desks. Incredible. So great. I will see you all again tomorrow morning or sometime during the day. Um, have a great day. Super duper. Bye.